Yo, 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 real quick, man, before we start this episode, today's episode is sponsored by my man Lombard Trucking, guys. Yes, guys, my dude Lombard Trucking, he's sponsoring today's episode. So make sure y'all go give him a like, comment, and subscribe. Link in my description. So let's get to the episode. Let's go. What's up, YouTube? Good morning, guys. Today is Thursday, May 19th. We are headed back to Birmingham, guys. We're gonna pick up at Hattiesburg. We're gonna run that Hattiesburg right quick. We might not even talk it. We're gonna run that. Then we're gonna come back to Calero. We're gonna put on our Houston. And that's gonna be the end of our week, man. So let's get down this road, get to downtown Birmingham. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. If you've never been on I-22, guys, coming through Alabama, it's one of the nicest highways in America, man. Views are insane. You start coming into the mountains of Alabama and the hills, it's wild. Get your ass whooped at the truck stop. Just like that. Doing shit like that, guys. You get your ass whooped at the truck stop. Alright, guys, we just got off the highway. We in Calero. So hopefully we can be the first in line to get loaded, get in and out of here. And today will be a good day.
loaded. Let's get to Hattiesburg, man. I'll see y'all when we get on the road. First, we gotta go through Tuscaloosa. Another beautiful day in the countryside of Alabama, guys. All right, we are pretty much halfway to Tuscaloosa to get on 20. So I'll check back in in a few once we come in uh, the Steel City, T-Town.
big brawny man dude with his wife, the big fat guy, and they fix up like homes around Laurel. This is where they film it at, guys. This is Laurel, Mississippi. Very nice city, guys. Mississippi is not what you think. It is very nice. Nice scenery, but like, you know, like they always say, Mississippi is the poorest state in America. That is 100% fact. But at the same time, man, Mississippi is, is, uh, is not of the old. It is of the new. Check it out, man. So we got about 29 miles to go to, to Hattiesburg. Well, less than that, probably like 25 miles. And uh, we should be at our delivery 34 miles. So we should be getting there right at noon, guys. They probably gonna be on lunch break, but hopefully they unload me because I ain't got on the tarps. Let's run. All right, guys, we're about 19 miles outside of Hattiesburg. And as usual, they're right on time. Mississippi got construction going on. I guess they repaving the roads in the middle of the day. So, you know, this is what we gotta do, one lane. down there to Highway 98. I think it's County Road, no, U.S. Highway 98, uh, where the drop is at. It's right next to that Walmart I always park at, where they got the hibachi up the street one night. So, we are 19 miles away, guys. I get back in with you when I pull into the place. Alright, guys, we are here in Hattiesburg. Get to the customer, guys. It's like a little funky little turn right here. There's like two right lanes and stuff, but you always want to take the left one because it makes you come out a little bit better with a better turn rating. So let's uh, get down the street and get this off the truck. All right, let's see if we can make this U-turn, guys. U-turn with 47,000 pounds is not easy, guys, but we got to do it. Come on. Don't try this at home, guys. You gotta go slow. You don't want to pop a tire. This has to be hands down, guys, my most difficult customer to deliver to because it is so narrow, you would dodge the wall, guys. So check this out. This is why you gotta learn how to drive a CDL school, guys, for, for drops like these, deliveries like these. This is tight. This is tight, guys. Woo! Oh, man. Why do you, why do you get warehouses like this? time guys this damn yellow pole they got this yellow pole at the end man I don't make I don't understand why they put it there oh we made it guys man all right, let's, uh, let's get these straps loosened while he's helping that other guy. All 
Alright, let's get out and get these straps off. Alright guys. We gotta deliver it. No rain, no nothing. We ain't tarp this load. Oh yeah. So let's get this unloaded, man. And then here, man, they got a they got a dog, man. It's about the size of a human. I'm gonna show y'all once we're going to get our paper sign. Alright, let's get this stuff unstrapped. Up. All right, we're getting unloaded, guys. All right, guys, we've been unloaded. We got four more pallets left. And we're gonna get back on the road to get back to Calera, get that Houston load. So let me go and get the paper signed. All right, guys, we got our stuff signed. Hey man, I'm sitting out there talking to the owner, man. He's like, man, these people, I man, these workers so slow, man. He got these two guys on the Fort Lift. You know, I come here a lot, so you know, I, I notice what you're talking about, man. They off in La La Land, man. He said he got to get them random jobs to do, man. He out here working the trailers by himself, man. He said they ain't got no help, man. So if you in Hattiesburg, then you got a CDL, and you got, you know, you got flatbed, I mean, Fort Lift Experience, Columbia, Brick, and Stone. They is hiring, they need help bad. Right here in Hattiesburg on 98, man. So uh, we finna get up out of here. You see how tight that turn was? I gotta do another tight turn to get up out of here. I'm gonna show y'all. We gonna get back to the plant. We gonna put on our Houston, man. We'll probably shut down somewhere south of Montgomery, man. So let's go. All right, guys. This is the toughest delivery we got, guys. Let's see if I can make the turn. Let's see, guys. Nope, I'm not. It's real tight, guys, on the back. I'm barely missing the yellow pole, guys. But we're going to make it. We're gonna make it, guys. Oh man, that's a tight turn, man. Woo! Man, oh man, guys. We got one more turn, guys. Can we make it? But I hear no. You got this semi truck turning in, bro. Check them out, guys. Check them out. That is a nice peak, guys. That is a nice peak. That is a nice peak. All right, 
right, guys, we are out of here. All right, guys, we are gone back to Calera. Let's get the hell up out of here, guys. And we are off. Back on 59. All right, guys, we are almost back into Tuscaloosa. We got about an hour and a half to go. We get back. So uh, let's get past this oversized load, man, because he dropping shingles, man. Y'all see that, man? He dropping shingles off the roof of the damn thing. Look at this, man. Look at him flying off. Wow. Y'all see that man just all over the truck everywhere. get off the highway because of that bad accident I'm calling traffic over here got a dude over here sitting in the wheelchair just looking at everybody walk by I don't know what he got going on smoking that good weed Montgomery is shut down for the night. My bad, guys. I did magic so quick I forgot to record it. Let's tighten these straps down and go park up for the night. And that is a wrap, guys. It is. The fuel is 549 one man. I'm back out here in Hope Hall. And you know, we're gonna get us some rest and get us some eat, guys. I thank y'all for riding with me today. Um, I'm gonna give a quick shout out to my boy Lombard Trucking. Like I said, this video is sponsored by him. Make sure y'all hit the link in the description below. Go subscribe to his channel, like, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? Hey, and we gonna keep elevated, man. The road to 1K subscribers is on and popping. We almost at 750, guys. I woke up over 700 this morning. Yesterday, I got up over 600. The day before that, I was up over 500, man. So, you know, anything is possible, man. The cows out there on the hill. And uh, we gonna keep hustling, man. Hopefully tomorrow, we'll be at 800 subscribers, guys. The road to 1K continues, guys. The fuel giveaway, guys. So. Y'all be safe. I appreciate y'all for y'all's support. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Yo!